Want to talk about DNA test results? Let's do it. And by the way, yes, I have never shaved my head completely to the skin. I went to a place in Nashville called uh, the Boardroom Salon for Men, and they did it for free because I did a video on my other channel, which is named after me, Nick Shell. But anyway, uh, so I had to talk about that before I get to the subject matter here. Someone left a comment on a video I made called My Mom's My Heritage DNA Test Results Live Action. And someone named Hi Pretty said this, quote, your mom is so cute, I love her deep South accent, which is funny because she's born and raised in Buffalo, New York. She moved down to the South when she was like 15. I wonder if she is Sephardic Jewish on just the Italian side or the Mexican side. Uh, so that's what I want to discuss uh, in, this, in this short video today. Uh, I have been thinking about this. I actually, let me show you something. I actually keep a note of all the things I plan to talk about in videos Freeze frame that and you can, under, you can get a glimpse of the future, what I'm going to talk about in the future. But anyway, uh, I had already wrote, wrote it down on that list and then that comment came up. So I thought, this is interesting because I have been trying to figure this out. Um, just a quick recap. Uh, my mother's mother is Mexican. Her parents were born in Mexico, but my grandmother was raised here in America. And uh, so from that alone, uh, I showed uh, to have 21.6% Native American via Mexico. DNA, uh, which would imply that my grandmother was somewhere around 80% Mayan, Aztec, Native American, whatever you want to call it, but the non-European DNA. She was largely that and only a little bit Spanish. But in theory, could it have been that some of that Spanish DNA that she did have could have been Jewish, could have been Sephardic Jewish if it was Spanish DNA indeed. So that's something to consider. Then also considering uh, then on my mother's father's side, they came from Italy. Her, her grandfather, grandparents came from Italy, speaking Italian, having Italian names and all that good stuff. Everything was Italian about them, but their DNA was very, my mom's something like 4% Italian and she was 15, uh, over 15% Sephardic Jewish and then about 14% Middle Eastern. So her father obviously had Spanish DNA as well, but it was Sephardic Jewish. So it was Jewish DNA mixed in with Spanish over the years. So in theory, uh, my mom is very Spanish, but her DNA test didn't show she was that Spanish, whereas mine showed that I'm nearly a third. And my theory is that the Spanish, because I understand that like, whether it's sibling to sibling or parent to parent, especially when the gender's different, that DNA can show itself differently, which I think explains why I have more uh, Iberian, more Spanish than my mom, because her shows up as Sephardic Jewish and Middle Eastern, and I show up 0.8% Middle Eastern and zero Jewish. Though my sister shows up Jewish, she shows up uh, Ashkenazi Jewish, but not Sephardic Jewish. And I do wonder, uh, it was my mom, it, was she Jewish on both sides, with both parents, one coming from Mexico and one coming from Italy? <laughs> there were, there was Spanish th apparently there, but how Spanish was the Spanish, how Jewish was the Spanish, I didn't get really any, I didn't get any of the Jewish. I got the Spanish, my mom shows the other stuff, so, and then my sister got a little bit of both. So it's really interesting to consider uh, for my mom, who turned 60 this week, that uh, she self-claimed uh, to be half Mexican, half Italian, and, and, and it's so much more complicated uh, than that, uh, to consider that both of her parents uh, could have actually been of Spanish descent if we go back far enough. Uh, and that whole Italian thing was basically just a placeholder, like here's where we came from more than anything. So uh, you wanted to discuss that in the comments, talk about that, give any theories you think about that. But with my mom being half Mexican uh, and having Spanish DNA through that side, there could have been Sephardic Jewish through that side. In addition to her father who was Italian, who, according to my mom's DNA, would have been about a third uh, Jewish, uh, if when you multiply 15 times two, you know? So it is interesting when I'm really, as I'm asking myself, like for me and for my mom, like how Spanish are we truly versus how much, how Jewish are we instead? And ultimately each test is gonna show a little bit different. It's gonna, the, and, and that's my theory again, and, and please break this down, whether you agree or disagree, I wanna know. What do you think about the fact that I show more Spanish than my mom, but she shows Jewish and Middle Eastern? Do you, do you agree with my theory that, that my Spanish was more of just, 
she, kind of the generic thing that showed up in my male DNA, but on her, it showed up more specific Jewish and Middle Eastern instead. What do you think about that? Because I'm I've been sorting this out for a while, and I think it's interesting and fascinating. So, what do you think? Comments. Do it.